Hey guys, what's happening? So it's time to upgrade my uh, wireless network and on my uh, old trusty uh, laptop here. So I have an IT project coming up. Uh, I do commercial IT. That's my primary business. Um, you know, data center stuff, build servers. Um, this actual particular job is I'm doing is a uh, hotel wireless upgrade to the uh, 6E standard. Um, outdoor access points, indoor access points, you know, wireless controller, autonomous roaming. Um, but my main laptop, the, my preferred laptop, even though I have multiple laptops, doesn't actually have a 6E. I originally had, I think I have the 760, 7260 Intel in here. You know, IEC does 2.4 gig, 5 gig, but I needed a little network adapter that could do 6 gig. Um, so hopefully this will actually work on this laptop. Don't even know. It costs 25 bucks on Amazon. Sorry for the background noise, I'm printing stuff. So, you, I mean, you know, if you are kind of new to my channel, then you probably you see a lot of 3D printer stuff, CNC stuff, all my hobbies, but my real business is actually IT, commercial IT. Um, I mean, I've actually uploaded quite a few videos, but I just, I can't upload videos of like what I'm normally doing because I can't show you my, the commercial stuff. I can't show you like a customer's wine closet and server room, you know? They don't want me filming in there, so I could never film that stuff. So, uh, plus, it's not a really good idea to have a customer's IT closet on the internet, like what they're doing internally. Um, but okay, so I need, hopefully I can get this to work on this laptop. I need a I need a way to be able to test, roam around and test. Even though I do have spectrum analyzers and stuff, but I want to be able to test internet connectivity with my uh, my laptop here. Um, I make sure I'm. A, I don't know if I ever uploaded a video about this laptop, but I bought it a while back, and it's a. Uh, I bought it because I, I like the, the seven. I mean, I, I do have smaller fourteen inch and ten inch laptops, but what I was saying is, even though I do actually have like the fourteen and, and ten inch lap or twelve, four, I, I have smaller laptops that actually fit in my uh, my work bag, my fruit bag. Um, but you know, if I'm actually going to be there for a while testing, like on site, then I, I prefer to use my bigger laptop. Just because it's so much more comfortable, easier to see, easier to navigate. Um, but I've actually had this laptop for a couple of years. It's a third gen, so it's kind of older, third gen Core i7, 16 gig of RAM. Uh, and the cool thing about this laptop is that it's dual booting. So, uh, not dual booting, like I don't have two partitions on a single drive. I actually have two physical hard drives. And I'll show you that when I take it apart. So I have two SSD drives, you know, the older style 2.5 inch uh, hard drives. Uh, one is actually Linux Mint, and the other one is uh, Windows 11. Even though, in theory, you should, this thing shouldn't support Windows 11, I have like the the workaround, the bootleg, uh, you know, the uh, what's it called? The uh, forgot the uh, the see yeah, it's up. I can't remember the actual name of it. But the, the thing in the BIOS that actually uh, prevents you from installing it. TPM, I think that's what's called. TPM. Can't remember. Um, all right, so uh, hoping to this go. It's pretty cheap. I mean, I don't know the chipset yet. I guess I'll find out. Like, who actually makes a chipset? Is it like an Intel based chipset? Um, right. Oh, um, some of the benefits of 6 gig uh, uh, wireless is that you get more speed, but you lose range. So, it's anything like with ham radios or any of that stuff I've, I've had on this channel. You know, the lower the frequency, the more range you get. You get slower speed. So, it's even like a, like a ham radio, right? HF radio can go further distances, right? Once you go higher up the band and the faster, faster wavelength, um, or the shorter, you know, or, or it's kind of hard to explain, but you're, you're losing uh, bandwidth the higher you go up. So yeah, you, I mean, you're losing range. So it's higher bandwidth, but you're losing range and more susceptible to noise. Um, so if you're not like right on top of uh, the access point, you're not gonna get the full bandwidth for six gigs. So, um, but so if you need range, stick with the 2.4 gig. You want ultra high speed, five and six. Um, let's see this thing. I don't think I have to use that metal backing plate. Give me a cool little uh, like anodized aluminum screwdriver. Well, I'll take it. Um, cool, I'll take it. A little anodized screwdriver here. How did they make this stuff for so cheap? I mean, I know obviously it's made in China, but it's like, how the hell can they make this? I mean, I know it's mass production, but still, yeah, I mean, even just a screwdriver. 
This thing actually has to be done on, on a, a CNC machine. You have the knurling and stuff. I mean, obviously it's a CNC lathe, but you know, I mean, you can cut that pretty fast, but still, that takes like, money and time just to add a, a machine screwdriver in there. And a lot cheaper just to do like a little plastic screwdriver like that. All right, um, let's get some part. So one thing cool about this laptop is that one cover, I can get to the actual, uh, all pretty much everything I need to actually change out. The two hard drives. I got two Samsung Evos in here, then I have 16 gig of RAM. Uh, this thing actually even has MSATA too, but um, the MSATA, it's like you're not really gaining benefit over this. Yeah, M2, definitely a huge speed, speed improvement over M2, but if you're not, MSATA is the same speed as the regular SATA. Um, so here is the Intel card, and that's what I'm going to replace in here. Now, the antennas, I mean, obviously they're not going to be tuned for a 6 gig, you know, perfectly, you know, the length of the, of the antenna, but, um, you know, I mean, it's pretty close, it's close enough to 5 gig, 5 gig, um, like I said, you don't, you're not, you're not going to get a lot, you have to be like right on the access point to get the full bandwidth. But, uh, so that sucks, I can't really do, I can't show any testing videos, because I don't even have a 6 gig in my house. Yeah, that's my garage access point, that's a Cisco, uh, I forget the model of it, but it's multiple, multiple MIMO. Uh, I'm running a Cisco, uh, you know, firewall threat defense, what they call firepower threat defense. Yeah, obviously the videos aren't scripted. I'm all over the place. <laughs> Should change my name to ADHD Garage. All right, I've got the new one in. You know, I don't know exactly who makes the chipset, um, but it also has Bluetooth 5.3, which I, I don't really use Bluetooth on this laptop. I'm, I always prefer wired stuff if I can um, over over any sort of wireless technology. But, um, alright, so we, I'm not going to put the cover on, I'm going to make sure it works before I put it all back together. Alright, so I've actually had Dell laptops, not like the wireless card, like if they're not FCC certified or whatever. So, like I said, this is the dual boot laptop, so uh, it defaults to Linux. That's actually what I use the most, but go to Windows Boot Manager. Alright, no warning so far. Like, I don't know if this is the newer Dell laptops, but I know old, the older Dell laptops, some would actually, or even IBM laptops, would uh, freak out. So let me log in and we'll go to Device Manager. I guess I could use the OBS Studio, but um, let's go to Device Manager here. Step the map here. Alright, see what it says. There we go. Oh, so it is an Intel chipset. Wi Fi 6E. All right, let me connect to my network real fast. Um, we'll do OC3D Tech. That's my garage access point that I wanted to show you. All right, so I am connected to my access point at 5 gig, channel 52. Um, like I said, I don't have a 6 gigahertz uh, access point to even test this, but um, 173 megabits, but um, yeah, like I said, their advertised specs, you're never going to get that. That's like, that's like sales and marketing. Um, even like when you set up a hotel wireless, man, you like you, you kind of understand the fundamentals. But not until you install it, man, because every situation is different. I mean, you're talking, you know, outdoor access points where swimming, swimming pools, bars. Um, and you don't, in theory, you know how it should work. But concrete is a major... I don't know what it does, it kills Wi-Fi, absorbs the signal, whatever. But you don't know until you're actually in it, you know, where you got to place these access points. Um, you know, sometimes it's spotty. I mean, I've been doing wireless for over 20 years, and since, since it came out. Um, well, maybe this will give you a, cue, a clue to how old I am. Um, I got my Cisco certifications, my CCNP, CCNA, in the late 90s. <laughs> When copper Ethernet was new, I mean, a lot of the stuff was BNC networking. We had Token Ring. We had, you know, Novell Netware. So I got an IT in the mid '90s. You know, I started fixing computers when I was really, really young, teenager, and uh, but I'm working IT ever since. You know, 
Um, okay, so I'm going to update this. My acrylic. So, I'm using the, the, the uh, free version of this acrylic analyzer. On this laptop, at least. Um, so, really what I'm looking for is just to see if I can, if there's any actually 6 gig access points in my area. So I know that 6 gig is actually working. Let's say 2.4, 5, 2 second. I mean, even though this has actually been around for like a year, I don't think a lot of, I mean, I don't, I, I go to my different office buildings all day long, and I haven't seen anybody with six, six yet. So, um, yeah, like I said, the technology has been out for a while, but, I mean, I kind of, back here in an area, in a corner, which I don't think a lot of people would actually have six. All right, I'm gonna do some scanning. I'm also gonna go into to Linux now. Okay, I'm in six. Well, I know it's working in five gig and two gig, so I'm gonna switch over to Linux Mint now. Um, hopefully, the kernel has a driver for this this chip. Like I said, it's been out for a while, and my Linux Mint's totally updated. So, all right. Going to reboot and go into Linux Mint. Alright, do a quick reboot. So like I said, the default boot is, is Linux Mint. So if I don't actually hit 12 when it, F12 when it's booting up and go specifically actually tell it to go into Windows, it goes straight into Linux. Alright, it's booting up into Linux. Let's see if I look for any errors. I mean, log in. So I forgot another cool thing about this laptop. It has a dedicated built, has a built-on video card and video video card. It's like a 650, but it has two gig of RAM built onto it. So it's not shared memory. I'm not taking a, um, memory away from the. Or not. I'm not taking not sharing RAM with the video card. It's its own dedica dedicated video memory. Um. Wow. Well, I detected the thing and automatically connected. I'm on. So um, let me connect my other access point. Alright, so I am connected. Let's do a search for SS Lin SSID. Okay, thank you. Alright. Okay. Alright, I guess it doesn't give the option to do 6 gig, so. Um. And actually, this should be updated. It's the latest version. So, sorry, I have an air show going on right now. I'm actually in Costa Mesa, so the Huntington Beach air show is going on right now. Like the ocean, the, the it's a, if we have a it's like an air show. It's all right on the water on the ocean. All right. Well, at least I know it works in Linux. Like the the the, the kernel actually has the chipset drivers or the drivers for the uh, network card. So yeah, I wonder why I didn't pick up any six good channels. Yeah, I did some research on that. All right, that's it for this video. Kind of a bummer I couldn't connect anything six E, but uh, I mean, I guess I really just wanted to see if this card would actually work on my laptop. Um, it's cool. I mean, I'm keeping this laptop alive. I mean, it's staying relevant. You know, now I have the latest Wi-Fi technology in here. Um, I mean, obviously, I wish I had an M2 drive, but, um, you know, big screen, nice laptop, you know, it's, I love it. So, even though things, I mean, I don't, probably 10 years old, I'm not even sure. It's, it's a third generation i7, so, um, all right, cool. Uh, it was only 25 bucks. You know, I had like a 15% coupon. Put a link down below, I got it. Um, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm not sure when Wi Fi 7 is going to come out, but, all right, so like I said, I have this job coming up, so I need a way to be able to connect or, or at least test it so I can see it on the 6 network, but very few people I'm sure are going to use it, but um, we're not going to do 6 uh, gig throughout the whole you know, building, just in a couple different areas, like the uh, 
uh, meeting rooms, you know, where they're actually going to need to have ultra-high bandwidth. Um, Alright guys, cool. Have fun.